Hi everyone, welcome to Gnan Cloud Garage. In this session, I'm going to talk about how to install Cast10 on Red Hat OpenShift step-by-step -step tutorial. So within our demo environment, we have Red Hat OpenShift running on vSphere. Now we are going to install a Cast10. So Cast10 is acquired by Veeam. Now, there are two methods to install Cast10 on Red Hat OpenShift. First method is operator-based installation and second method is Helm-based installation. So we can use any method to install Cast10 on Red Hat OpenShift. So in this session, I'm mainly focusing on first method, operator-based installation. So when we uh, verify the Cast10 operator editions, there are three editions available. One is Cast10 free, another one in to another two are the enterprise editions. That means uh, we have to buy. So Cast10 enterprise pay go model. It's a similar as a pay as you go model and a Cast10 enterprise term based model. So enterprise edition of Cast10 build per usage of node hours and uh, another term based means it's based on a with a term license and a free edition. Generally, it's for use in clusters up to 10 nodes only. Okay, we cannot use more than 10 nodes. So within our lab, we are all good to use free edition. So log into the demo, our demo system. Let's say within our vCenter, we have OpenShift cluster running, three masters, three worker nodes. And now log into the Red Hat OpenShift console. Also, we can see three master, three workers. To install the Cast10 using operator-based installation, we, within a administrator view, go to the operator section, we can see operator hub. Under operator hub, we have a 508 items are available. So within that, one of the item is cast in. So in the search bar, you can just type cast in. When you type cast in, you can see Pago model, term based model, and also the free edition. So now I, we are going to install a free edition, similar option, similar method for other editions as well. So select the free edition, we are going with a install when you click on install we can see the option there is a stable option it is saying that uh, there is already a name exist okay so we are good to remove the existing subscription okay we can remove the existing subscription okay now we'll create a new one search the cast in so click on install click on install so currently installation is in progress so when the operator is installing we can see from here view installed operator when you click on view installation operator it will redirect it to installing operator state under installed operator currently it is in the installing state it may take a while later it will change the status to succeeded state okay now the status is succeeded and another key point is whenever the, we install the cast in free edition by default the dashboard will not come we have to enable the dashboard using openshift route so this route option available under the network section. So within the dashboard, you can look for your networking. Under networking, you can go to the route section. We can create a route, okay? So while creating the route, just click on route. Currently default, our project must be under the cast in, okay? And the route name, you can choose any name. For example, I given the route name as K10 route. That means it's a cast in route. And host name, currently there is no star mark, will go with a default option. And the path should be slash k10 slash. This is the recommended. And the service should be, we have to choose the service as a gateway service. You can type gateway here. This is the recommended service for cast -in. Okay, I repeat, we can choose any of the route name and also we can create a path slash k10 slash and the service is gateway service. And now the other option is target port. We have to choose the available port, 8000 port TCP. Okay, now click on create. So this creation is K10 route is accepted. 
when you create the k10 route you can see default dashboard is available here so this is the da dashboard whatever the name we given k10 route that k10 route comes here and within our namespace k10 io and our cluster name ocp413 gcglab.com and the path whatever the path we given during creation that path okay so when you click on here the cast and dashboard will be loaded so just click here see this is the cast and welcome to cast and so just scroll down here it is asking us to enter the email and company name for example the email is we can enter our email address let's say gnan cloud garage at the rate gmail.com and the company name let's say gcg it's saying it is we have to enter the only the official email addresses okay so it says please enter your business email address this form doesn't accept to address from gmail okay Okay, I'm just changing to gm.com just for testing. Now accept terms. Once you accept terms, welcome to the cast and dashboard and we can take a tour or else we can take the tour later. No thanks. So now you can able to log into the cast and by Veeam. And we can see the document section settings. We can add your multiple clusters here. And also cast an admin account is the default account. Currently no password, we can set the password as well. Okay, so this is how we can install the cast and on OpenShift. I repeat, we installed first operator and, <coughs> excuse me, sorry. Operator, when we install the operator should be succeed state. And the second step is we created a router. And remember that while creating the route, we have to choose our service should be gateway service. Okay. And the port also, we have to choose the port 8000 port. When you configure with these details and also path should be slash cast. And this is the key items. When you select accurately only, our dashboard will be loaded successfully. And also during the dashboard creation, it's asked for your business email. So in our lab, I just given it a uh, general email. Uh, Gmail is also not accepted. I just created gm.com. But in the production environment, we have to give our official email addresses okay now back to the slide you can see operator installation we already verified and uh, another key point accessing dashboard via a route this point also just now we validated so cast and dashboard can also be accessed via open shift route this open shift route only we configured through our dashboard we go to the networking tab we created a route OK, but the same option, if you want to create using command line, the command line, we can use kubectl commands. So using kubectl command, if and if a namespace, our same namespace port forward, service should be gateway. You can give the 8080 colon 8000. This is also another method, command line method, creating a dashboard route. OK, once the. So once the route is created, the K10 dashboard will be available at HTTP IP address 8080. This is the URL, default URL. But our scenario, when you see here, you, you can directly accessing our route URL. DNS name we are using and the cast in dashboard is loaded successfully. In later sessions, I will show you how we can add the cluster to cast and dashboard and how we can take the application backup. But before that, we have to install some applications on our CAS, our Red Hat OpenShift. I will show you how to install applications on our OpenShift as well. Okay, so that's it for today. Thank you. If you're watching this video first time, please do view, like, share and subscribe to the Grand Cloud Garage channel. If you're already subscribed, I appreciate all your support. Bye for now.